Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today, let's continue to talk about the 1454 Fragrance Company lineup. This one will be Perfume Blend number 3, and uh, it's part of their floral collection with top notes of saffron and jasmine, middle notes of amber green, amber wood, base of fir resin and cedar wood. Now over at uh, YouTube, I did see a guy saying that this fragrance smelled a lot like Baccarat Rouge 540. I've never tried that fragrance. I do know it's pretty expensive and that it, there's a lot of hype. A lot of people are really loving that one. And if you go to Fragrantica, the Note Pyramid 4 Perfume Blend number 3 and uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 are identical. Not a single note was changed to make this fragrance any different from Baccarat Rouge 540. Since I've never smelled it, though, I can't say if it's similar or dissimilar or whatever, but uh, I'll just basically tell you what I feel about this fragrance on its own merits. And basically what I'm getting here is just a heavy dose of amberwood. Very sweet, woody, bubblegum wood type smell. Very common note. I think uh, Invictus kind of started that trend. Other fragrance houses like uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, Victor and Rolf came out with their own blends that had that same bubblegummy woody smell to it. And uh, I don't really understand the hype. If you're younger, you might really enjoy that DNA. Me, I think when you're over the age of 30 or whatever, it gets to be a little bit too youthful and sweet. And not really something that I would recommend pursuing. So for me, this fragrance is almost like a niche version of Invictus. And does the world even need that? I don't think so. I think you're just fine getting Invictus or one of those other types of fragrances. Save yourself the money. Get one of those fragrances if that's the kind of thing you like. Um, but definitely, if you can get the Discovery set, check it out for yourself and see what you think. But uh, yeah, for me, just a dose of bubblegum woods. Pretty much what I'm getting here. I'm not really sure what the deal is here with that, but uh, let's get into some final scores. The smell, I'm going to give this one 5 out of 10. Pretty much about as mediocre as it gets. Not a horrible smell, but I mean, I've just smelled that bubblegum wood type, type thing so much, and I just want something else uh, to uh, wear and review uh, for a change. Projection Longevity. This is one of those fragrances that seems to linger, but it doesn't really overpower. So, like, I think people close in your bubble will pick up on it. Or should I, should I say close to your bubble gum? <laughs> close to your bubble wall will pick up on it. But uh, it's not something that I would think would, like, fill a room. At least from just based off what I'm smelling on my skin. No, I, I haven't really worn this one out in public yet, so who knows. But, yeah, projection longevity. I'll say 7 out of 10 because I do think it lingers. But it does seem to be more of an intimate to moderate uh, scent bubble. Versatility, I'll say 6 out of 10. I think you can wear this one anytime, but uh, because it just doesn't strike me as anything too interesting, I don't know if I would recommend it too often. 6 out of 10. Uniqueness, I will say 4 out of 10 because the bubblegum trend is really getting tiresome. I think it's time to move on towards something else. A new note, a new trend or something. Price point, 100 ml bottle for $109, just like the other ones in the lineup. So for me, this one's probably the least interesting of the three that I've tried so far. And the least likely one that I would purchase, just based off of one wearing. It's my day off. I thought I'd wear this one, see how it goes. But uh, for me, 5 out of 10. Baccarat Rouge 40 Clone, I don't know. I haven't tried that one, but uh, this one doesn't really excite me too much because it does have that amber woody smell. It just doesn't really work for me that much. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later.